Hello everyone, welcome to Ascending Academy's YouTube channel. My name is Arjun Chhabra, I am faculty at Ascending Academy. So in this session, we will be discussing about what are the last minute tips for a CBD1 examination for RRB in JE. Now keep this in mind, this year as well, good strength of the students appearing for this examination is expected. How can I say this? Because see, in 2020, uh, 2019, a good strength of student appeared for this examination, somewhere close to uh, more than 20 lakh students, I guess, uh, up filled the form for CBT1 and around 2 lakh students um, were selected for CBT2. Now, this examination is, is being conducted after 5 years. Now, you can expect a good strength this year as well. Now, one more point to be discussed over here. Also keep in mind why the strength is high, will be high because specifically the engineers who are preparing for uh, let's say SSC CGL or RRB NTPC will be trying their hands on this examination also. How can I say this? Because CBD1 is primarily what? It is a non-technical examination. There are no technical subjects which are asked in this particular uh, exam or this phase of the exam there will be no technical questions hence keep this in mind number one reason the strength is high it is because of this reason but not necessarily that the selected students will also be high so you can see more than 20 lakh students appeared and only 2 lakh students uh, were selected right so keep this in mind and, and, and that also depends upon the seats as well right uh, primarily the number of seats if they are high, they will be selecting high number of students. Now, um, as far as the exam pattern for this CBT1 is conduct, uh, considered, it is a qualifying examination. Total number of 100 questions will be asked in this exam and each question will be of one mark. There will be a negative marking of 1 by 3 and a total duration of 90 marks. So, you can see uh, that here speed and accuracy are one of the most important factors. So, keep this in mind. Speed as well as accuracy this is the point of concern and these two are the things we will be focusing in this last phase of our preparation right so point is wherever we are lacking in our speed and accuracy we will be focusing on that primarily right whatever concepts you have considered up until now fine with that okay i understand you must have co covered around let's say 50 or 60 percent of your syllabus but now from now on try to focus more on speed and accuracy as well on side not necessarily only on the concepts concepts are important we have to cover as much syllabus as we can i understand this but speed and accuracy parallelly is very very important from now on and also keep this in mind this is a qualifying examination right this is a qualifying examination and we don't have to score you know full marks in this examination that is one other key so wherever we can think of leaving some part of the syllabus we can also think of that and uh, we'll be focusing on that also uh, see rrbj exam pattern cbd1 uh, mathematics total 30 questions will be asked and 30 marks so again this area of our uh, syllabus mathematics again good amount of practice is required good practice is required right solve as many questions as possible and try to improve your uh, accuracy as well now general intelligence and reasoning again it is common for almost all the examinations if you are a student who had prepared for sscje previously then again it is very common for you and even mathematics also it is very common for you then you can appear for RRBJ very easily if you have been preparing for SSCJE previously the prelims examination. Now come to the general awareness part only 15 questions are asked in this. Now this is the area of your entire syllabus in which maximum subjects are there or in the sense in which you need to cover maximum amount of syllabus this general awareness aspect. This is the most questionable area. Most questionable area most of the students will be lacking in this area. Hence, I will try to dedicate one or two hours daily, especially on the current affairs aspect, right, from now on. 
early in the morning or late at night start studying general awareness questions now and, and and this will be the area of your syllabus also in which least amount of your time should also be dedicated during the preparation and also during the examination also right this entire 15 questions you should be able to read those questions and answer them within 8 to 10 minutes 8 to 10 minutes is also I am saying a very high amount of time. I will say around 5 to 8 minutes try to solve within this amount of time frame uh, these 15 questions. Read it. If you are able to answer it, answer it correctly. If, you, if not, move ahead. Your aim should be that I should be able to solve around 8 questions. Around 8 questions in this particular section. I'll say around six to eight questions. It will be fairly good. We'll try to cover that up in other sections, mathematics, general intelligence and reasoning and general science. We'll be trying to cover whatever is left behind in this particular area of your section. Try to cover it over here because you can prepare very well in these three other sections, right? If we are practicing well. Now total 100 questions are asked and 90 minutes, right? 100 questions, 90 minutes or so less than 1 minute per question. Now last minute tips again, I will be repeating these points. Focus on solving as many questions as possible. This should be our premier aim, either through previous year questions, either through, uh, you know, questions from other competitive exams like SSCJ and some state level examinations also. And also by solving as many questions through test series as possible, right? And mark the problematic areas. Problematic areas in the sense wherever you are lacking in respect of let's say silly mistakes or some new concept is introduced to you during the mock test, try to cover that. And after that, each time when you are solving a mock test, focus on improving accuracy and speed. As I told you, uh, again, I'm telling you, this is the main because see, at the end of the day, you need to answer your questions correctly and by saving time as well. Right? For these two things, for the performance, I need accuracy and speed. And that can be done by solving as many questions as possible and through mock tests. And after that, from now on, stop focusing on CBT2. Again, for us, now the time is very, very important for our preparation, stop focusing on CBT2. There may be students who were focusing on their technical subjects also, which were, which are supposed to be asked in CBT2 part of the examination, right? This next phase of the examination, they will be asking your technical questions as well. Stop focusing on that now. Close your books. Now, after Diwali, start to focus primarily on CBT1 syllabus, right? Now for the students who do not know the syllabus or they are lacking in the syllabus, so you can see, <clears throat> this is your mathematics syllabus, number systems, mod mass, decimals, fractions, LCM and HCF, uh, ratio, proportion, percentages, mensuration, time and work, time and distance. Then after that, simple and compound letters, profit and loss, algebra, geometry, trigo. Uh, after that, elementary statistics, square root, age calculations, calendar and clocks pipes and cisterns, right? So take a screenshot, mark your uh, weak areas and whatever topics are left for you. After that, again, general intelligence and reasoning, you can see for RRPJ, analogies, alphabetical and you know, number series, coding, decoding, uh, mathematical operations, uh, relationships, syllogism, jumbling, Venn diagram, data interpretation and sufficiency, conclusion and decision making, similarities and differences, analytical reasoning, classification, direction, statements, arguments and assumptions. And now see general science, physics, chemistry uh, and life sciences and uh, life sciences all of this has to be covered up until the 10th standard. Right? For CBD2 it is 12th standard. After that general awareness syllabus you can see knowledge of current affairs, Indian geography. Right? We see current affairs start focusing daily now every one hour or two hours uh, daily. So we'll be starting also. 
uh, on our channel we'll be starting uh, current affairs daily now live session so you can cover up uh, from there as well so indian geography uh, culture and history india including the freedom struggle after this indian polity is there constitution indian economy and environmental issues concerning india and the world and uh, general scientific and technological advancements so these are the areas for general awareness now if you are a student who is uh, preparing for rrb jee cvt1 in the current times so what you can do is as the time uh, is you know less right now you can go for our pre recorded courses for the subscriptions which are available for 3 months go for 3 months now and uh, which will be very helpful for you uh, other than that if you are preparing for rrb jee next year for the year 2025 as well for that also the notification has been released so you can also focus on taking 6 month subscription course if you want to carry forward your uh, preparation now in general uh, for all the students 3 months 6 months 12 months 18 months and 24 months time frame of four subscriptions is available for you and for all the time frames we are giving 25% discount and you can use rrb25 as the discount code now what you will be getting in this experience faculty there is an ask an expert option you can ask in your doubts and uh, the faculty uh, will respond to you as early as possible and there are live doubt clearing sessions which will be conducted on a regular basis for the students who are enrolled and there will be a free online test series included in this particular subscription plan now consider only for 3 months for the current times if you are focusing on 2024 examination if you are also focusing on um, you know 2025 go for uh, uh, you know 6 months and primarily uh, if you are well equipped with your cbd1 syllabus go for 6 month syllabus of cbd2 as well right so now uh, this doesn't mean that it is not the higher time frame is not valuable for you right now for cbd2 again it will be valuable for you and also for rrbj 2000 25 and also if you are preparing for rrb ntbc examination the pre recorded course for 3 months 6 months and 12 months is available for you and it is as less as 3500 rupees now this is your coupon code again once again the same coupon code is there now for both of them what you can do is uh, you can scan this qr code and uh, you will be directed towards our website right where you can buy your subscription plans so that's it from this video thank you for watching i hope i was able to give you some ideas regarding the last minute tips